The field is worn, the turf is torn, yet here the flags will fly. For once again, the Yanks are champs. Though back in mid-July, their prospects didn't look too good. For back then, you will find, they trailed the Boston Red Sox. There were 14 games behind. They pushed and they shoved. They would fight, they would pout. They were unhappy people, of that there's no doubt. They were willing, but tired and frustrated men. You were fired. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> and replacing Billy Martin at the helm of this great wreck was Bob Lemon, who'd been fired by the White Sox and Bill Veck. It was right about then that the Yanks had big innings, and the pitchers, especially Guidry, kept winning. They knocked off the Red Sox to wrap up the East, and then spoiled the Royals, to say but the least. Then, on to the series. Cantankerous Codgers, the Yankees were matched once again with the Dodgers. L.A. won game one, beat the Yankees quite roundly. No question about it. I beat us soundly. And also game two, sure as Eden had Adam. If it was a two-game series, we would have had him. But then on to New York, and in excellent fettles were enough of the Yankees, especially Nettles, to make run-saving plays just as fine as can be. And the Yankees came out with the win in game three. It seemed to the Dodgers a mean thing to do for a fellow like Nettles. The guy's from California, too. Game four had a play, controversial and all, in which base runner Jackson was hit by the ball. Like a Johnny Travolta, his hips Reggie throws. Oh, I just couldn't get out of the way. I just froze. Causing Tommy Lasorda in anger to say, I haven't seen that play in years. I have never seen that play. Game five and game six were in one-sided style, and on faces of Yankees came suddenly smiles. In spite of adversity, as you well know, the Yanks are the champs now, two years in a row. Though the West Coast may perceive them as foul beasts with hearts of onyx, the Yankees are well thought of here. Beloved in the Bronx. Charles Osgood, CBS News, New York.